Okay, so similar to the last video, this video we're going to take a look at a file. We're going to take a look at the shadow file, the file that actually contains that password. So just like before, let's go ahead and do cat slash etc slash shadow. Um, and it tells me permission denied. Re remember, um, password had the passwords moved out of it because everything needs access to the password file. In the shadow file, we can have the password and we can lock it down so not everybody can see what's in there. So let's do sudo cat slash etc slash shadow. And it might prompt you for the password. Uh, if you're on our system, it's capital P at SSW0RD. And down at the bottom line, we have our student information, right? I wouldn't want to, so the first, the first segment, again, this is another COLA separated database. So the first one is our username. The second one is the password, and we're going to explain what that is in a second. Uh, and then everything after that is rules for the password. How long before you have to reset it? How long do you have to wait to reset it? All those things. But I want to go back up one line to GDM. If you recall from the last video, GDM had a false shell, so you could not log in as that account, right? That's a non-user account. Notice here in the password section, the second field, uh, it's a star, it's an asterisk. That means that there is no password and you can't log in as that. So again, uh, you would have to change that if you're a bad guy trying to log in on this account. Let's go back to our student. So you log in with the, the username student and then we have the password information. The password information is broken up into three sections divided by dollar signs. The first section tells you the type of hashing that is done on the password. In this case, it is MD5. Right. Um, the second section between the dollar, those other two dollar signs, it's nine L zero or big capital O slash R L R Z. Right. That's a salt. So when I enter in my password, and if you recall, my password is capital P at S S W Z R D. What happens is when I type that in, Linux will then go grab that salt and add it to the front. Now, because the salt is in plain text, anybody who can access this file can, can add it. Uh, however, it means that you can't go and just crack a whole bunch of common passwords in MD5 some and see them ahead of time, right? That's called a rainbow tables attack. So salts prevent that. So if somebody wants to crack my password, they have to grab that salt and stick it in front of every potential password that they try. And if you are in the uh, Cybersecurity Club and you, you do the password cracking challenges for the National Cyber League, we use tools like Hashcat and John the Ripper to do exactly that. And then the last section, the one that starts with VY and goes to the next colon, uh, ends with a period, that is the actual hash. That is the result of putting that salt in front of capital P at SSW0RD and uh, running it through MD5 sum. The other sections are the rules and information about the password. So uh, the next one is uh, the time when the password was last changed. Then you have the minimum number of days. If you change a password, how long do you have to wait to change it again? And then the maximum number of days, that is, at what point do you force them to change the password? Um, and then how long before the, they get a warning before changing the password? Then how long before they're set to uh, inactive and how long before their password expires? So you can see that they're, those are blank. There is no point where they get locked out of the system. Let's go ahead and change the password and see what changes there. So if I do passwd to change my own password, it's going to ask for my current password, capital P at SSW0RD. And I'm going to change it to Unix is cool. Unix is cool. And it has been updated successfully. And now if I, if I am to take a look at that last line, a couple of things I want to notice. Notice right off the bat, it changed the hashing. Uh, which is probably a good thing because this is SHA-512, which is much more secure than MD5. But I also want you to notice the last date changed has changed, or it has been updated right here, right? So uh, the 18377 is the date that I last changed it. And when you 
uh, update passwords, you will never ever actually edit this file directly. Again, you will use you know the passwd file or through pass the password command. And if you need to change somebody else's password, then you need to uh, use sudo or login as root in order to do that. Um, hopefully that explains the path or the shadow file. If you have any questions, let me know.